hello friends welcome back to friend of health so today we are here with a very important topic which may help uh, many of the students or aspirants who are uh, wishing to attend the counseling session of uh, ayush pg courses especially homeopathy so uh, this is all about the allotment process or counseling uh, of uh, the ayurveda siddha yunani homeopathy seeds especially homeopathy will be stressing so uh, the first part of the uh, like video where i am uh, discussing the uh, philosophy behind uh, selection of uh, your choice for the pg seat uh, will be helpful for uh, all the i streams and the second part uh, will be especially for the homeopathy subjects uh, selection or to choose uh, so we'll be guiding you so uh, from the comments under our videos and uh, in the personal chats we have got many queries regarding the uh, confusion of students uh, regarding how to choose your subject for md as you know friend of health is a channel on homeopathy where we give quality content on homeopathy medical topics discussions and also competitive exams guidance so we are very happy that not only homeopathy students even ayurveda and yunani and siddha students are following our channel as we provide medical topics discussions and uh, some of the guidance regarding the aapgt and uh, upsc please keep supporting us uh, like you do now please share our channel uh, for your friends juniors uh, and uh, in your uh, friend circle whoever is from the i stream and also enable the bell icon along with the um, subscribe button so that you will get all the notifications now uh, as i mentioned these objectives for post graduation course in homeopathy especially or in uh, ayurveda siddha even in any field in the i stream the objectives of a post graduation course i have already mentioned these in the beginning of uh, regarding the colleges info uh, one video i have done already regarding the stipend uh, etc so the objectives of post graduation course in homeopathy are uh, to create excellent professional thinkers and uh, researchers and teachers and practitioners and subject experts in the field of homeopathy or any ayush streams these are the objectives mainly for uh, post graduation course so you may be able to achieve these five points or more than that when you do a md course seriously so now the main question the one of the very frequently asked question how to choose your subject for md so let me uh, explain or let me introduce uh, the philosophy uh, behind uh, selecting or choosing the subject for md course so first point is go with what you like so these are the points or inputs we get from uh, many senior doctors and also from the other streams uh, like the modern medicine uh, post graduation course so we are uh, compiling this for helping the ayush stream students so first point many experts say is go with what you like so three years you have to study and after that also you have to be an expert uh, thinker or researcher in one field in your stream so uh, if you don't like that subject it will be very difficult for you it's not a matter of simply getting a post graduation degree so always uh, the first point will be uh, whichever you like that one you have to uh, select and the second point is rule out your dislikes some people will have difficulty uh, like uh, selecting a liking one so that time you can do like you can rule out your dislikes uh, one may not like one uh, special subject so you can rule out that in the first uh, position so like that rule out your dislikes third point is homeopathic or non homeopathic subject this is uh, purely regarding the academic uh, area because uh, uh, whatever may be may it be homeopathy or ayurveda or yunani even if you are uh, uh, selecting a clinical subject uh, or specialization uh, and ultimately you will be prescribing the medicines of your stream your ayush uh, stream especially in homeopathy if you are selecting the practice of medicine psychiatry or pediatrics uh, anything uh, you will be uh, uh, prescribing uh, the medicine uh, homeopathic medicine but uh, this Three years, you may have to study a lot of um, like non-homeopathic subject if you are going for non-homeopathic subject. So that's why I have made this point. And uh, one more thing is uh, some of the uh, lecturer post uh, PSC exams or uh, some uh, special post uh, which uh, requires homeopathic uh, subject MD. Uh, you may not uh, you may not be able to write if you don't have a MD in homeopathic subject. but if you have a md in homeopathy subject you may be able to write even the non homeopathic subject uh, uh, qualification uh, post also 
so that's why this point is also very important so if you can choose one among the homeopathic subject especially petri medica or gnorapatri uh, you can um, like keep one option like that and the fourth point is don't be pressurized by your rank so because of your rank if you have to select one stream which you don't like or which stream in the sense of the subject which you don't like and you have to suffer uh, three years you don't you have to study a subject which you don't like or you don't have any interest it will be very difficult so even if you have to spend uh, some more uh, time on uh, like uh, making your uh, rank much better so that you get a, a subject and college which you like uh, you may wait but if you have problems uh, uh, like with uh, the subject and if you are pressurized by your rank to select or choose one uh, there, may, there may be some difficulties but uh, whatever it is you have to move on so uh, you have to think wisely so this is very important uh, regarding your life studies etc so don't be pressurized by your rank and the fifth and last point is don't let past experience distract you so sometimes uh, one person may not like one subject in his uh, or her uh, ug life for example in homeopathy uh, in ug uh, undergraduate exam times you didn't like materia medica much but maybe in pg or post graduation study the uh, scenario will be different and even organon some people may think that organon is something like which is of no practical use or it is a theory like that but when it comes to post graduation and its application it is one of the beautiful subject in post graduation so like that uh, there can be problems so in the second part of the video we are explaining the uh, syllabus or the course contents of homeopathy stream post graduation subjects so you can uh, select that but uh, this point you can keep in mind while choosing your subject don't let past experiences distract you so these are the five points which we could collect uh, from different uh, expert uh, videos uh, like uh, uh, articles etc but uh, there may be more problems you can uh, comment uh, if uh, you find any more points in the comment section so that we can uh, help other viewers also by reading the comments so uh, we request you to comment in the comment section if you get any more points regarding this and also uh, these are uh, like things which you should apply your own common sense your own intelligence and your own experience and you have to decide on your uh, subject which you are choosing so the second part of the video a uh, very important one the branches of study in the homeopathy stream pg post graduation so we'll see the uh, branches of study first one is doctor of medicine homeopathy in organ of medicine with homeopathic philosophy and its uh, abbreviation is md homeopathy organon so uh, this is the first branch uh, like in the homeopathy stream uh, post graduation and uh, second is doctor of medicine homeopathy that is md homeopathy in uh, homeopathy materia medica including applied aspects that is the term and md homeopathy materia medica is the abbreviation third one is doctor of medicine homeopathy repertory and uh, md homeopathy repertory and fourth one doctor of medicine homeopathy homeopathic pharmacy and md homeopathy uh, md homeo homeopathic pharmacy so these are the four homeopathic subjects uh, especially and this uh, name of qualification and abbreviation is uh, uh, taken from the rghs rajiv gandhi university of health sciences bangalore uh, university regulations so it can change uh, slightly but these are uh, made according to the guidelines of cch so it may be applicable for uh, all the colleges and universities in india fifth one is doctor of medicine homeopathy practice of medicine and uh, abbreviation is md homeopathy practice of medicine and sixth one doctor of medicine homeopathy pediatrics md homeopathy pediatrics and seventh one doctor of medicine homeopathy psychiatry and uh, md homeopathy psychiatry so these are the seven uh, subjects we have now maybe in future uh, gynecology or surgery may come but as uh, as of now only seven uh, stream uh, seven subjects are there and uh, these are the abbreviations name of qualifications etc next one is content of subjects so this is something uh, really really important and interesting so this uh, presentation of content of subjects i will uh, try to do from the official uh, regulation of rghs as rajiv gandhi university of health sciences the file which is published in 2019 just before that mission so i hope that uh, uh, cch or other universities may publish the same and if you can google and see uh, you can uh, read them as well and um, this is one authentic one or uh, one of the uh, well designed uh, course uh, content or syllabus uh, rghs has made that's why i am referring to that
So before going to the content of subjects uh, like organon, metria medica, repertory, pharmacy, uh, practice of medicine, pediatric, psychiatry, um, I would like to add the uh, curriculum of uh, PG course, the part 1 on part 2 and also uh, the other subjects like research methodology, advanced teaching of fundamentals of homeopathy, those subjects which are common to all the subjects in the part 1 and uh, the uh, mainly uh, whatever uh, portions or the units are there in each subject we will be dealing. So this is the uh, Rajiv Gandhi University of Health Sciences Karnataka um, ordinance, revised ordinance uh, pertaining to regulation and curriculum of the postgraduate course in MD homeopathy. So this is uh, uh, dated 5-8 uh, uh, that is August uh, 5th uh, 2019 just before the last year's admission. So this is applicable, the above regulation shall be applicable to the students admitted to the set course from the academic year 2016 to 17 onwards. So we know that uh, before uh, the PG syllabus was uh, much different than what we see now in the colleges. Uh, before we had to study a lot of uh, uh, every subject and also uh, the history of medicine etc. But now since 2016-17 onwards this uh, revised regulation is going on. So uh, we will see that in detail. So here you can see some regulations like name branches of study what we already seen the name of qualification and the abbreviation we already seen these and uh, uh, you can see the course of study so the specialities like subjects of specialization for post graduation in homeopathy in homeopathic philosophy that is organ on subject course uh, you have to study homeopathic philosophy and organ of medicine in detail and research methodology and biostatistics and advanced teaching of fundamentals of homeopathy so these two subjects b and c will be common to every subject uh, whichever stream you take the seven subjects it will be common and uh, other subjects in detail uh, the first uh, a a will be that subject uh, specialization in detail as i said earlier this uh, subject a in respect of md homeopathy in each specialty subject named above shall be the main subject and other shall be a subsidiary subject for the md home part one examination and part two examination there shall be only main specialty subject and no subsidiary subject so this research methodology and biostatistics and advanced teaching of fundamentals of homeopathy will be there only in the part one so we'll see it uh, in detail so this rguhs rajiv gandhi university of health sciences 122 page uh, pdf file you can easily get in the uh, homeobook.com or in the google search itself so this is very interesting to read uh, as uh, uh, everything uh, regarding the training, dissertation, submission, uh, even the postings, the case taking, the examination pattern and the uh, marks uh, of passing, attendance, everything is given. I am not going to detail in that because the subject of this video is regarding the how to choose uh, the subject for our course. So we will go directly by skipping all these points, very very important and interesting but still we will skip because these are self explanatory and any anyone uh, can read this and understand. So you can see here in part 1, uh, Metri Medica, if uh, someone is doing a PG in Metri Medica, they have to write an exam uh, for maximum marks uh, 100 in theory and practical 50 and pass mark is 50 percentage, 75. Research methodology 100 mark uh, theory exam will be there, there is no practical. So there are uh, 50 marks again pass marks. And advanced teaching uh, 100 marks theory and 50 marks practical, 75 marks pass marks. So uh, this is the pattern of any subject. And part 2 you can see practice of medicine only practice of medicine paper 1 paper 2 will be there uh, both in 100 100 and uh, practicals will be there and even uh, psychiatry paper 1 paper 2 both psychiatry only will be there. So this is about the part 2 exam. So these are uh, about the exam and uh, see the long uh, like case taking even the exam uh, case taking how to present or uh, how the mark will be distributed everything is uh, given in detail. So I am not going to explain this. So here comes the course content very very important uh, section 2 of this uh, pdf and uh, syllabus we can call uh, course content or syllabus. So we have already told uh, each subject uh, in detail we will be studying organ etc. But part 1 uh, will be having uh, like research methodology and biostatistics and uh, advanced teaching of fundamentals of homeopathy. We will see first about that subject because everyone any PG uh, have to study this. So research methodology uh, very beautifully given what all things um, you will be studying in research methodology after completing this MD course. So uh, research and biostatistics uh, everything in detail you will be studying regarding uh, how to um, like from the A to Z of research. Uh, so it will help uh, to create uh, wonderful researchers in the field. So these are the competencies we will be uh, able to achieve after the completion of the course. And uh, these things 
uh, i'm not reading out because uh, these are very self explanatory people are interested in uh, getting to know about the organ on what they will be studying metri medica what they will be studying uh, etc so research if someone is interested in research uh, there is a wonderful curriculum in uh, md course for uh, research a to z of research even the unit's name i will just read out the first one unit 1 is fundamentals of biostatistics and research unit 2 is research types designs and measures and unit 3 is data collection and data management unit 4 is data analysis techniques every test uh, uh, regarding the uh, like data analysis uh, testing of hypothesis uh, testing of the data etc so unit 5 is uh, report writing and publishing research studies so that is also in detail you will be studying everything uh, and other uh, details of that and uh, some practicals are there in the curriculum regarding this research so advanced teaching and fundamentals the other subject in the part 1 advanced teaching and uh, fundamentals of homeopathy uh, this uh, is one of the beautiful subjects so that uh, see uh, for example uh, one person who is studying a practice of medicine md or pediatrics md or psychiatry md or pharmacy md or organ or metabolic repertory any subject that you take if this subject uh, this advanced teaching of fundamentals of homeopathy subject was not there it would have been a disaster because they will have no understanding or um, touch with the basics of uh, other subjects in homeopathy so that's why uh, this course uh, is uh, in, uh, incorporated and it is very very uh, interesting uh, see the units like doctrine of homeopathy philosophy concepts of homeopathy materia medica fundamentals of homeopathy repertory elements of psychology and health principles of education and communication so in this homeopathy philosophy materia medica repertory will be studying the basics and a uh, very useful uh, thoughts and uh, thinking about these subjects but uh, this elements of psychology and health will help you to understand uh, in a better way regarding the health and regarding the even the education uh, and communication uh, subject uh, this unit is also very important as a teacher uh, a postgraduate student will become equipped uh, with many of the important things uh, regarding the teaching uh, field so these are the uh, things uh, coming up uh, under the advanced teaching and basic uh, principles of homeopathy philosophy what all things will be covered uh, in advanced teaching also is mentioned here uh, all regarding the basics of uh, homeopathic philosophy and organ if you come to materia medica also the basics of materia medica the construction of materia medica and uh, some concepts uh, which everyone should know uh, in advanced level that is mentioned in the materia medica and in repertory also the same uh, regarding the evolution the construction and uh, the uh, logic of construction structure and application of some repertories everything will be given and uh, in regarding psychology and health also very important topics regarding the health illness wellness the uh, philosophy or the concepts or the uh, evolution in the field of this uh, models of different models of health everything is mentioned and discussed and uh, education communication one of the very interesting chapter for those who have a um, like taste of teaching or uh, those who want to become teachers after doing this post graduation course this will be very interesting educational communication so how to uh, like how to be a proper teacher uh, by uh, getting the basics of teaching and even the micro teaching macro teaching and many things like uh, lesson planning how to prepare a slide uh, or communication education communication everything will be taught here so these are the two subjects uh, which will be common to every subject when you do a post graduation in the part 1 now we will see each subject in detail uh, like organ of medicine doctor of medicine homeopathy organ of medicine and with homeopathic philosophy first we will see regarding organ on regarding organ on if you see homeopathic philosophy uh, there are uh, some uh, like what is the purpose of this uh, like post graduation course and uh, what will be a student post graduate uh, in organ on will be achieving after the uh, course and aims of this course everything is given in detail but uh, let me just show you uh, like these things you can read what are the units or the syllabus or course contents so these are the course contents first uh, uh, concept of principles and practice that is the name of the uh, like a name given uh, by rghs rajiv gandhi university of health sciences and under that in part 1 uh, you will be studying unit 1 uh, regarding the fundamental principles of homeopathy cardinal principles then holistic concept all these things and in unit 2 you will be studying uh, regarding the emergence and the evolution of homeopathy uh, then uh, like life and works of hanuman thoro study uh, that is very interesting and uh, next is uh, lesser writings by hanuman these are very very important which we uh, don't study in depth in ug undergraduate so the lesser writings of the master 
and uh, you did three uh, critical study of different editions of organ of medicine including preface introduction aphorism footnote appendix so organ on in detail will be studying in unit 3 and detailed study of fifth and sixth edition of organ of medicine also and unit 4 hanuman's theory of chronic diseases one of the must read and must understand book but in pg you will be studying and discussing it in detail in the unit 4 hanuman's theory of chronic diseases and unit 5 regarding philosophy so a study of philosophy is a must for any science student uh, who want to understand uh, regarding the evolution of science or evolution of uh, the philosophy so this general philosophy is very interesting unit unit 5 and you will study almost everything under philosophy in that and psychology uh, psychology is also uh, like uh, a part of organ of medicine even psychology comes up in uh, psychiatry also but here you study uh, much uh, regarding the thinking learning memory emotion all these uh, uh, like branches and methods of psychology uh, so psychology also is a part of uh, organ of medicine and these are the part one uh, syllabus and part two in the second uh, or the after completion of first year uh, first uh, one and a half years the part one and uh, after the exam you will be going to the part two in that two papers will be there because only organ on uh, you will be writing exams so here uh, you can see in unit one study of organ of medicine fifth and sixth edition theoretical part so theoretical part in detail and depth you will be studying again in unit two the practical part of fifth and sixth edition in detail you will be studying uh, in depth in depth you will be studying and uh, there will be uh, like uh, chronic miasms um, uh, all others uh, all relevant uh, works of under the miasm you will be studying along with the uh, Hanuman's uh, chronic miasm concept uh, comparative study and unit 4 comparative study of Hanuman's chronic miasm including the study of relevant uh, writings of other authors this is uh, Ken Klaus Roberts which you have already studied in the UG uh, in depth you will be studying but here little more uh, advanced like uh, P.S. Ortega, Phyllis Pite and P.N. Banerjee all these uh, along with the uh, study of uh, I mean Hanuman's chronic miasms you will be comparing and studying and unit 5 will be J.H. Allen's uh, chronic miasms uh, uh, book and uh, its details you will be studying this is paper 1 and uh, Sora Psychos also paper 2 unit 1 is J.T. Ken uh, and uh, Ken's uh, philosophy the one uh, you have already studied in the UG and uh, the one you have not studied in UG the lesser writings by JT Kent one of the very interesting book so paper uh, 2 unit 2 will be uh, Stuart Claus genius of homeopathy and unit 3 will be H.R. Roberts and Carol Dunham's uh, philosophy books and uh, unit 4 principles and practice of homeopathy by Richard Hughes and uh, knowledge of physician by Richard Hughes Unit 5 will be Principles of uh, Homeopathy by Garth Boric. So these are the uh, contents or books and syllabus in uh, Organ of Medicine uh, uh, post-graduation. So uh, one who have interest in Organ of Medicine, Philosophy, Psychology and uh, in-depth uh, reading and comparison of uh, concepts of uh, the basics of Homeopathy, the principles of Homeopathy, they can choose home Organ of Medicine and you can do uh, wonderful studies researches in this field itself and also in general uh, you can study some clinical subjects also based on Hanumanian or homeopathic uh, uh, like sticking to the homeopathic philosophy you can do some research work also so this is all about organ of medicine next is doctor of medicine homeopathy md homeopathy in homeopathic materia medica including applied aspects so uh, this is a subject uh, which comes up uh, after organ of medicine we will see it in detail homeopathic materia medica so when you see homeopathic materia medica someone who is having interest in studying uh, uh, almost uh, many drugs in comparison to other drugs and in a uh, group study or comparative study or clinical materia medica and uh, its application all those things you can uh, study uh, materia medica post graduation so curriculum components if you see knowledge uh, if you divide the curriculum components into three knowledge performance and reflection you can see in knowledge drug pictures of remedies will be studied performance you what you will be performing as a postgraduate in materia medica comparison and relationship of remedies and the reflection of this study will be clinical application in relation to acute diseases or chronic diseases that is a constitutional miasmatic prescription and pathological sub surgical and one-sided diseases integrating the applied aspects of pharmacy organ on repertory and allied subjects so this will be the materia medica postgraduate uh, like curriculum components 
and if you see the part 1 part 1 unit 1 you can see major remedies medium remedies and minor remedies so throughout the materia medica course if you see the course content is uh, some major remedies will be there in some unit and medium remedies and minor remedies so in this unit 1 major remedies you can see this many and uh, medium remedies and minor remedies so these three you can keep in mind unit 1 again in unit 2 uh, some other drugs major medium minor and in unit 3 also then unit 4 then unit 5 so you five units are there in the part 1 and in part 2 and uh, along with this in part 1 you have already I have mentioned advanced teaching fundamentals of homeopathy and research and uh, research methodology and biostatistics so in uh, part 2 of materia medica some more drugs in detail will be studying along with this uh, this major my medium and minor will be studying with uh, group study or comparison or uh, uh, clinical uh, so it will be uh, very interesting for those who have an interest in materia medica uh, study drugs uh, study so in part 2 uh, unit 1 again major medium minor uh, then major medium minor so unit uh, uh, like uh, again five units in the paper one and paper two uh, again you have uh, this materia medica is full of medicines uh, in different different uh, uh, groups uh, they have made major medium minor and different different medicines maybe like uh, no source or some family like that they have uh, divided so you, uh, five units each in uh, part two in paper one and paper two and these are the skills you will be achieving uh, uh, in the materia medica post graduation course uh, to take proper case study depending on the basis of uh, guidelines given in organ of medicine uh, performed through physical examination evolve essential diagnostic procedures and relevant tests and interpret them to come uh, to a diagnosis of the disease person and remedy document medical history clinical investigations for the purpose of analysis analysis and evaluation of the case and for follow up perform common therapeutic procedures for general management provide basic life saving support services in emergency situation evolve an appropriate method in treatment of acute and chronic diseases so uh, these are the skills you should be achieving in uh, materia medica post graduation next one is doctor of medicine homeopathy md homeopathy in repertory so repertory is uh, known as like case taking and repertory so case taking and repertory so this subject is uh, some people have very interest in uh, learning repertories different repertories its application the computer repertories uh, so uh, those who people uh, those who are having an interest in repertory will enjoy this uh, repertory post graduation so we'll see the uh, like uh, what they will study the course content we'll see so contents of repertory in part one is unit one uh, source and origin of repertory the general principles of repertory definition of repertory requisites then scope and limitations then classification method of repertorization etc techniques of repertorization and uh, even uh, in unit 2 case taking in detail all these uh, objectives of case taking definition purpose then uh, disease diagnosis phase of disease nature of disease all these uh, de uh, de details regarding the uh, case taking uh, they will be studying and uh, in detail they will be studying in unit 3 onwards they will study the basic repertories in part 1 so Kent's repertory in detail uh, about uh, everything about the uh, Kent's repertory in unit 3 and unit 4 regarding the burning of sins therapeutic pocket book BTPB in detail and in depth and unit 5 BBCR burning, uh, Boger burning of sins uh, characteristics and repertory in detail so this will be the part 1 uh, uh, repertory content along with advanced teaching methodology and uh, research uh, and biostatistics so in paper 2 the second uh, part 2 part 2 uh, paper 1 will be having some more repertories so some more details uh, regarding the concept of repertorization historical evolution of repertories philosophy and scientific background of repertories then uh, unit 2 will be having again some more depth uh, regarding the importance of case taking and anamnesis then concept of interviewer case writer and observer in case taking and the methods and techniques of case recording everything will be uh, like uh, in depth uh, you will be dealing in uh, paper 1 of the part 2 unit uh, 2 and unit 3 uh, totality of symptom according to Hanneman, Boninghaus and Kent, Boger and observations of other authors who are famous repertorians uh, you'll be dealing uh, regarding the case taking um, like uh, the, from the pioneers the instructions and observations on case taking so case taking and repertory is uh, uh, is going to help you uh, to become a wonderful person with knowledge of repertory along with uh, an expertise uh, expertise in uh, case taking unit 4 uh, you will have uh, uh, 
um, like again uh, case taking so approach of case taking in urban rural and various settings so different aspects and uh, different uh, ways of uh, like uh, incorporating case taking uh, in depth you will be studying and uh, unit 5 again uh, general principles of repertorization the generalization causation concomitance individualization evaluation all these things and observations on repertorization by Hanuman, Boninghaus and Kent, Boger, all those observations are on repertorization. So these things who are having interest in repertory will uh, enjoy this and in paper 2 of part 2, unit 1 will be Boninghausen's philosophy, then Boger's philosophy, Boger's synoptic key, then um, uh, Boninghausen's uh, therapeutic pocketbook, uh, BBCR, Boger Boninghausen's characteristics and repertory. Then uh, combative study of BTPB, Kent's repertory and BBCR uh, and uh, these things will be there in the unit 1. So in the unit 2, we will be studying Kent and his life and his works and uh, sources of the repertory of uh, Kent's repertory and also uh, the other repertories which used uh, Kent uh, repertory as a source like Kunzli's repertory, Final General repertory, all these repertories then uh, many more uh, repertories and uh, even the comparative study of other repertories will be there in the unit 2. And unit 3, the introduction of Puritan repertories like Lippe, Nur, Gendry, Herring's analytic repertory, all these repertories. So introduction to regional repertories again you will be studying in repertory course. So uh, many uh, small repertories also, whatever comes uh, in the field of repertory you will be studying. And unit 4, uh, clinical repertories, uh, very useful and um, like recent one also. And um, sensations as if by H. R. Roberts, then Clark's repertory, Clark's subscriber. All these uh, clinical repertories, Boric's repertory, everything you will be studying in the unit 4 and uh, um, these uh, uh, like repertory course will be packed with uh, a lot of uh, in-depth study of uh, each repertory uh, in detail and in unit 5 you will be studying modern repertories, complete repertory, Murphy's repertory, synthesis repertory uh, and uh, Fathak's repertory, R.P. Patel's miasmatic repertory, all these things and also in the unit 5 you will be studying computerized repertories. Uh, the creators, philosophy and uh, approach to material medica, advantages and limitations and role of computer repertory. The softwares will be studied. So this repertory, if someone is having interest in repertory and uh, to uh, like uh, know more about other repertories and to utilize uh, uh, the latest repertory as well, you can uh, become an expert in repertory by doing a post graduation in the uh, field of repertory. So this is all about repertory. Next one, the last uh, homeopathic subject uh, in uh, MD homeopathy, Doctor of Medicine homeopathy, homeopathic pharmacy. Homeopathic pharmacy, if you see, uh, again uh, the course content, uh, part 1 you will be studying in unit 1, uh, basics of uh, the homeopathic pharmacy, the philosophy and development of homeopathic pharmacy and in unit 2, pharmacognosy and uh, pharmacology, the knowledge of drug substances and uh, this pharmacy post graduation is more uh, uh, like uh, apart from the case taking and uh, all you will be dealing more in the practical uh, regarding the herbarium or you will be uh, dealing with uh, more of sources of plants and sources of uh, homeopathic pharmacy like uh, vehicles all those things you have to study so knowledge of vehicles then uh, unit 4 uh, homeopathic drug proving then uh, homeopathic pharmaceutics uh, so this is the paper 1 in the part 1 uh, so, uh, in part 1, uh, you know already advanced teaching of uh, homeopathy and uh, research and biostatistics also will be there. And in part 2, uh, homeopathy pharmacy MD, paper 1, uh, unit 1 will be philosophy and development of homeopathy pharmacy, little more depth you have to study. And in unit 2, knowledge of drug substance, pharmacognosy and uh, pharmacology. Then uh, homeopathy drug proving again and principles of pathology and dispensing and uh, homeopathy pharmacopias. So these are the um, uh, paper 1 of part 2 and paper 2 of part 2 unit 1 homeopathic pharmaceutics Hanuman's method of preparation of drug new method of preparation of drug homeopathic potentization Hanumanian and post Hanumanian method and every scales of potentization will be studying industrial pharmacy again uh, pharmaceutics will be studying and uh, you will be studying the drugs uh, laws and legislation related to uh, homeopathy pharmacy then uh, pharmaceutical management pharmaceutical analysis etc so this uh, homeopathy pharmacy course uh, md if you do uh, you may be an expert or you can be the head of uh, uh, some of the pharmaceuticals uh, with your uh, knowledge and expertise in the field of homeopathic pharmacy so this is one course uh, designed in such a way that those who have the interest in uh, dispensing prescription pharmacy vehicle the management of uh, the uh, drugs and laws and the preparation the pharmaceuticals those who have that kind of an interest 
you can do a, a post graduation in uh, homeopathic pharmacy even uh, you can do some research in the field of uh, uh, homeopathic pharmacy like uh, uh, those who are interested in proving more drugs or new drugs or reproving or uh, some who are um, like experts in uh, uh, like drug sources uh, some who are having uh, that kind of an interest they can do homeopathy pharmacy as md next is doctor of medicine md homeopathy in practice of medicine so practice of medicine many are having interest in taking practice of medicine uh, like uh, thinking uh, or keeping in mind that uh, it will make them excellent in uh, diagnosing the cases etc so we will see what are the contents of practice of medicine so if you see practice of medicine as we say uh, the harrison's uh, or uh, davidson's uh, this uh, such textbook uh, comes uh, to our mind when you say practice of medicine so we'll see what are the uh, units uh, comes under practice of medicine so uh, the course content if you see uh, the a or the first part is general medicine including tropical medicine so uh, like uh, etiology epidemiology pathogenesis pathology clinical expression with evolution of symptom uh, all those uh, general medicine and tropical medicine you have to uh, study in the part uh, like a of the medicine course content so that will include uh, we can see uh, introduction of uh, to principles and practice of uh, evidence based medicine acid base or water electrolyte disturbance so from the basics uh, we will be studying in practice of medicine uh, so each system the basics we will be studying and uh, you can see miasmatic study of medicine uh, like practice of medicine itself uh, comparative or uh, um, correlating with the homeopathic uh, miasmatic concept of homeopathic uh, disease concept you will be studying and diagnostic procedures will be studied uh, in view with the latest technology so uh, which will uh, make you an expert in the uh, diagnosis etc so GAT investigation respiratory system investigation CVS um, like hepatobiliary pancreatic renal CNS uh, hematology endocrine osteology infection immune disorders so uh, you will become an expert in oncology all these investigations etc so uh, this uh, paper division if you see uh, part 1 uh, you know that unit 1 and unit 2 will be studied and part 2 unit 3 4 5 will be studied so this uh, they have given like this and they have given the details as a uh, like um, as follows so syllabus division unit 1 and 2 is in part 1 so part 1 unit 1 and unit 2 which are mentioned uh, in the following para will be there along with research methodology and uh, biostatistics and uh, advanced teaching fundamentals of homeopathy and in part 2 there will be two papers and both will be uh, from medicine only practice of medicine only so unit 3 unit 4 unit 5 so we will see uh, the syllabus division in unit so unit 1 and 2 which is in part 1 uh, like introduction to uh, practice and uh, principles and practice of evidence based medicine acid based water electrolyte disturbance tropical disease uh, infectious disease including hiv and aids uh, then occupational health uh, basics uh, and common problems preventive medicine basics vaccines the role of homeopathy etc in unit 2 immunology then uh, respiratory cardiovascular metabolic GIT such interesting uh, topics are coming in the 1 and 2 units unit 3 and uh, 4 5 in which are there in the part 2 uh, like hepatobiliary hematology oncology genetics then geriatrics dermatology um, which is uh, very relevant to general medicine practice will be studied and uh, bone and joints disorders nephrology neurology and endocrinology diabetology uh, emergency medicine psychiatry uh, then this is one interesting topic current national international research or trials on common diseases like uh, diabetes mellitus hypertension uh, ischemic heart disease uh, cva cerebrovascular accidents etc and specific skills uh, like uh, plural tapping parasynthesis uh, gastric lavage cardiopulmonary resuscitation uh, lumbar puncture fundoscopy examination all these will be you will be exposed and you will be studying so and uh, exam pattern again so this is a um, syllabus and units of practice of medicine so one who is having interest in studying um, diseases in detail the investigations and to want to be who want to become an expert in diagnosing uh, they can enjoy and study practice of medicine post graduation and uh, this uh, uh, curriculum itself will be uh, very interesting so i hope uh, this uh, Raju Gandhi university of uh, health sciences uh, homeopathy uh, curriculum the curriculum we are dealing now but it will be common to all the universities uh, like because it is uh, coming from the prescribed syllabus of CCH so this must be common and this will be the pattern in every university so these are the things in detail again next one is doctor of medicine MD homeopathy in pediatrics 
so very very interesting and many are uh, like having an interest in doing md in pediatrics in homeopathy so in depth study of pediatrics uh, so if you see this uh, syllabus it is very vast and very interesting uh, one who is having interest in pediatrics they can uh, study the a to z of pediatrics uh, by choosing the md in homeopathy in pediatrics because they will be studying a lot of syllabus i feel uh, the syllabus of pediatrics is much more vast and much more uh, precise and uh, very uh, beautifully designed in this rghs uh, regulation of md homeopathy the course content of pediatrics if you see it is very vast so in um, md part 1 unit 1 you will be studying the growth and development in the uh, first uh, unit growth and development and uh, you will study a to z of that growth and development and second uh, unit is adolescent health and you will be studying about the adolescent health in detail and um, some of the skills also you will be developing uh, while studying this and in unit 2 uh, genetic disorders genetic disorders uh, in detail uh, from a to z of genetic disorders then critical care pediatrics um, then uh, unit 3 uh, neonatology with homeopathic therapeutics uh, interestingly it is designed in allergy and uh, clinical immunology then uh, community pediatrics immunization unit uh, the 3 the third part of the unit 3 is immunization community pediatrics in the fourth part and unit 4 if you see uh, pathophysiology of body fluids and fluid therapy approach and management you will be studying the second part is infectious diseases and their homeopathic therapeutics and uh, 3 is uh, portraits of child constitutions in materia medica then unit 4 is ethical issues in pediatrics so such a wonderfully uh, designed uh, like a pediatric course content you can see here uh, unit 5 ethical issues in pediatrics psychology psychosocial issues in children uh, child nutrition uh, then in part 2 part 2 uh, paper 1 uh, unit 1 metabolic disorders uh, then rheumatology or musculoskeletal disorders and in unit 2 central nervous system with homeopathic therapeutics uh, neuromuscular disorders with homeopathic therapeutics unit 3 psychiatric disorders or mental health with homeopathic therapeutics and then environmental diseases with homeopathic therapeutics unit 4 will be having ophthalmology with homeopathic therapeutics and otolaryngology with homeopathic therapeutics and dentistry with homeopathic therapeutics so uh, very vast and very interesting um, uh, course content is there in pediatrics unit 5 uh, endocrinology with homeopathic therapeutics and uh, uh, part uh, 2 paper 2 uh, unit 1 will be gastrointestinal tract with homeopathic therapeutics and uh, disorders of liver and biliary system with homeopathic therapeutics unit 2 uh, cardiovascular system with homeopathic therapeutics and uh, hematology and its disorders with homeopathic therapeutics unit 3 will be having a respiratory system and its homeopathic therapeutics um, unit 4 genital urinary system and its homeopathic therapeutics so uh, one will not miss anything if they study md pediatrics and they will be an expert in the uh, field of homeopathic pediatrics along with therapeutic knowledge so unit 5 dermatology and its homeopathic therapeutics neoplasm and its homeopathic therapeutics and uh, these are the uh, like part 1 paper 1 uh, these are the chapters and uh, part 2 paper 2 paper 1 and paper 2 these are the chapters so these are very interesting and very vast and it's beautifully designed so one who is studying md pediatrics in homeopathy with an uh, interest in pediatrics will uh, be enjoying the studies along with uh, children and books so the last uh, MD course or um, Doctor of Medicine in Homeopathy, MD Homeopathy, Psychiatry. So if you see Psychiatry, uh, those who are having interest in taking uh, cases uh, in Psychiatry and those who are um, like, those who want to uh, learn more about the human mind and uh, the diseases affecting the human mind and uh, to help uh, people with those problems with the homeopathic medicine they may be they, become, they may become an expert by studying homeopathic psychiatry um, like md psychiatry uh, they, they can become experts in that field so unit one will have a psychology so in psychiatry course uh, in the part one unit one psychology will be there unit two will be having historical aspect uh, relevant to the study of mental diseases then uh, behavioral and social Unit 3 will be having behavioral and social uh, sciences relevant to mental disorders and uh, psychological foundations of uh, clinical psychiatry. The uh, unit 4, um, psychological foundations of clinical psychiatry. Uh, unit 5 will be psychopathology. So these are the paper uh, uh, 1 or part 1 uh, condensed. 
and part 2 paper 1 part 2 when you come you will be studying only psychiatry in detail so here uh, in the unit 1 you can see medical disorders related to psychiatry organic brain syndrome substance related syndrome schizophrenic disorders and in unit 2 you can see affective disorders somatoform disorders dissociative disorders anxiety disorders unit 3 personality disorders sexual and gender identity disorders unit 4 uh, general philosophy and homeopathy so here comes uh, a part where uh, the correlation with homeopathy and uh, psychiatry so you know health disease cure dynamic concept holistic concept individualization concept of totality a conversion of psychiatric symptom from the case taken into rubrics of various repertories then uh, unit 5 uh, you can see uh, the evolution of homeopathy metro medica different eras and concept of earlier times and their influence on the construction of homeopathy metro medica so in psychiatry course they have incorporated some metro medica and uh, organon philosophy part also and uh, in paper 2 uh, of part 2 you can see unit 1 habit disorders adjustment disorders some more uh, uh, con- conditions uh, coming under the psychiatry uh, like um, practice of medicine aspect or the uh, the theory aspect Uh, then uh, like consultation lies on um, psychiatry um, uh, community psychiatry psychiatry in the educational setting so some interesting topics like uh, geriatric psychiatry which are very relevant also nowadays then social culture psychiatry forensic psychiatry and ethics in psychiatry um, so one will become a, a subject expert in psychiatry by doing the practice of, i mean uh, psychiatry md but uh, they will have uh, some knowledge about aphorisms also see here uh, unit 4 after the unit 4 preventive aspects of mental disorders recent advances in psychiatry emergency psychiatry unit 5 comes like detailed study of aphorisms uh, 212 to 210 to 230 so mental illness as one sided diseases concept of common and characters of symptom and totality in mental illness scope and limitation of homeopathy in comparison to other systems of medicine in the treatment of mental illness so these are the course content of psychiatry md so these are the seven subjects and uh, the course contents so i feel uh, i have given an idea regarding the course content uh, of various um, subjects in uh, md homeopathy so you can decide now on uh, on your own uh, using your common sense your intelligence and your experience uh, which subject to choose and uh, uh, don't get pressurized by your rank or anything if you like to do you can enjoy and do some of the subjects and uh, you can uh, become a subject expert a researcher and a good teacher and a homeopathic thinker and you can do much good as a practitioner by becoming an expert in that field so now uh, as you are going to pursue your dreams and as you are going to more heights we at front of health we wish you all the best uh, for your bright future and uh, uh, bright future of homeopathy through you and once again congratulations for uh, achieving a good rank if you fail to achieve a government seat which you dreamed of or a seat in a college good college which you wanted in a proper stream uh, don't worry you still can try once again we'll be there to support you in front of health so subscribe our channel enable the bell icon for getting all the notifications share our channel with your friends uh, like the video if you uh, think it is useful and comment uh, your feedback about this video and watch our other videos Uh, stay tuned uh, with friend of health take care and bye